dum da da dum 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 Diana and Tauda is an Asian girl, a daughter of her mother and her father, dropped in the middle of South Jakarta in Indonesia, located in Far East Asia. Grow up to be someone who loves Broadway. Okay, that was bad. That was the worst opening video ever, ever. But yet, one of the most creative ones I have ever thought of. Right. Okay, anyway, welcome back to my channel, Bing Mama. I think from the opening alone, you can guess what is it going to be about, right? I mean, like for the people who have known me, and for those who follow me on my other social media, they must have expected for this video to come from me. I mean, especially post 3rd of July, right? I was just non-stop, pun intended, non-stop to the point that I was so annoying I'm aware of that, so if you happen to be one of those people, my apologies, guys. I mean, I just couldn't stop, could I? Like, I just went on and on and on every day. I insisted you to watch the clips. I insisted you to listen to the songs, to even, you know, sing along with me. But thank you so much for putting up with me, for the understanding, for just letting me do did what I wanted to do. That You guys have big hearts. And I just want to show you how annoying I could get in order to convince people to like what I like, especially in this matter is Hamilton. So here are some of the examples of the situation that can kind of capture how I constantly, you know, annoy the people around me. So here I go. Situation number one. I know, right? It's amazing. I know. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, she's coming. She's coming, she's coming. Oh yes, okay, what do we do? Guys, 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 check out this one. Oh my god, there is this great news about Hamilton. They said that Disney bought Hamilton and they will release next next year. Look, I'm not the way man. Shut up. I'm not. Yeah, the one who said it. I'm not the way man. <laughs> it's all leaving, oh. man. Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have to go. I gotta go. My auto is here. Goodbye. See you. Great story, Mal. Bye. See you. And sometimes it went like this. Oh no. No, she tagged me. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, of course. Of course it's about that. It's about that. Oh my god. I have to repost it? Oh no. Just ignore it, maybe. Okay, fine. It's only 24 hours. Hmm. Repost it. Hmm. And this. Ita, 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 ita. Please stop, stop that, stop that, stop, stop. Hmm? Yeah? Papa, there is this song that you will love. Okay, fine. It's from Hamilton, my shot. Come on, sing it with me. So, yeah, that bad. <laughs> and I even insisted this to my student. So I have this book club class uh, in my workplace and then like, every day at least one song from Hamilton and I played it to them and until that they actually liked it and they asked for it in every meeting that we had so Miss, please, this is Hamilton time, Hamilton time and they really know every single word of the whole show like and one student had this birthday party where everything, all of the decoration and everything was Hamilton-y so I felt like, ka -ching! mission accomplished and for those kind of people that I portrayed in the skits, they eventually loved the show. I mean, after all of this rambling and nagging and insisting, they liked it. So after all of those constant annoyance that I've brought to your life, please allow me one more time. Let me dedicate this video as another appreciation to the show and how amazing it is. It's going to be a review-ish slash discussion slash talk of Hamilton. So it's Hamilton Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. So first thing first, this picture. This one. This picture probably captured what I felt best when I found out about the new release date of Hamilton film. So when Lin-Manuel Miranda tweeted that the film is bought by Disney and then they will release it next year in theater, I was all over the moon. I mean like, oh my god. Finally, I will get to see what I've been waiting for for years. And then months later, they announced that it will be on Disney Plus the coming July. At that time, it was May, I think, when I found out about it. And then I was just, what? It, it gets even closer. It, 
it was just so surreal and I think now 3rd of July is again another musical milestone that the world is celebrating right now I mean it was like a birthday like day for not only theater goers but also for parents teens kids I mean parents cheered teens pop and then the kids will want to go to the library to know more about history Right? That's how powerful and amazing it has been. And now, allow me to refresh your mind on why this musical works so well for our Broadway audience and now almost everyone. Okay, so let's start from Lin-Manuel Miranda's music. That combines two things that, in my opinion, rarely go well together. Political narratives and crafty entertainment. The, found a father without a father the music is delivered in contemporary genres that are seemingly out of place because it's historical, but in fact, it's a perfect way to tell the story. It works so well, like for example, hip hop. It uses hip hops a lot, right? And some other contemporary pop music. In my opinion, it eliminates the gaps between the musical itself and the audience, and the audience with the characters. I mean, this is the music that people listen to in their daily basis, right? That's why it blasts through every tradition, genres, gender, of age. I mean, that's why it touches everyone's heart. It's just right for everybody's ears. And the lyrics, right? The lyrics do no less as much as the music. I mean, that is why this musical works so well for everyone because on the lyrics and every song uh, those actors are singing, it has with the humors, it has playful banters, it has those captivating sad lines that work so well, in my opinion. Because Lin -Manuel, Manuel Miranda really crafted it all so well. And along with those aforementioned recipes, I think the casting choice has the big role to the success, huge role even. Because as you can see from the cast, right, it almost represents every single audience member, like eth ethnically and emotionally, right? Like, it's like you see, you are seeing yourself represented uh, on the show. Like, the gap between the audience and the characters are eliminated already because when you see the characters, it seems like we are seeing the people that you would say hi to, that you would meet in your daily basis. So they really make it accessible and relatable for everyone, for us as the audience. That is amazing. And of course the performances, right? Those wickedly talented human beings are really well chosen in my opinion. They really cast it the actors that can act, they can sing, they can rap, right? And really know what they are doing and what they're supposed to do. And it's so amazing to see like everybody that and by everybody I mean like we see Asian faces, we see American faces, we see Latin faces. It seems like everybody is there in that melting pot in that amazing show that is called Hamilton. So all in all, the 3rd of July and on has been the day when people witness that the stories from centuries ago can be successfully brought back to life in a more accessible way, in a more relatable way, and not to mention amusing way. So that's all for right now everyone. Thank you so much for going through this with me. Thank you so much for listening to me rambling about this very matter, Hamilton. So now enjoy the show, go get the show. Just find out the way to get the show and see you on the next video. Till then, have a great day everyone. Bye-bye. Love you.